Example 6, section 6.7. We have to start by factoring the denominator. Factor out an x, so we have x squared minus x plus 1. And then we can try factoring this part. x times x is x squared, but to get a positive 1 here and a negative there, we would have to do a negative 1 and a negative 1. And when we multiply that all out, we would have a negative 2 in the middle. So this does not factor. It's irreducible quadratic. Reducible quadratic. Okay, that doesn't even look right. Irreducible. All right, here we go. So we have 3 over x times x squared minus x plus 1 equals a over x plus b over x squared minus x plus 1. Oh, bx plus c, because I have to have a linear on the top. Okay, then we multiply by our least common denominator. We get 3 over here. We get a times x squared minus x plus 1 here. And then we get bx plus c times x there. So I really didn't write this out very well, but here's our least common denominator. So assuming we multiply everything by that, the x cancels here. The x squared minus x plus 1 cancels here, and then we distribute, well, if that's the method we're going to use. Um, let's see, if we plug in a 0, we can solve for a. That could be helpful. Or we could just go ahead and get a system of equations and solve it that way. I don't know, maybe I'll just go ahead and flow it out. I rebooted my computer and I'm still lagging. Okay, so I distributed the a through all of this. I distributed the x through all of that. So now I'm going to gather my terms. So I'll take my x squared terms which we have 0 on the left, and then we'll have ax squared and bx on the right. This problem feels vaguely familiar, I'm not sure why. Okay, and then on the left we have 0x terms, and we have a negative a here and a positive c there. And then our constant terms we would have 3 on the left and just a on the right, so a equals 3. So then we would solve this system by substitution, just plug the a in here and here. So this would give us 0 equals 3 plus b, so b is negative 3, and 0 equals negative 3 plus c, so c would equal positive 3, which gives us a final answer of 3 over x plus negative 3x plus 3 over x squared minus x plus 1.